Hello, brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining us at Mother and Refuge of the End Times. Today, we would like to share with you an article by Dean Cervantes titled, Catholics Now Face Huge Responsibilities for the Entire Mankind, published on sunstar.com on June 15, 2022. Catholics bear serious and heavy responsibilities on their shoulders these apocalyptic days. As much is clear in the messages being sent from heaven through credible mystics. The chastisements are coming. On this, not only Catholic but also Protestant and other religious sect leaders agree. But the messages from heaven, mostly those from no less than our Lord Jesus Christ and the Blessed Mother, ask mankind to do things to at least mitigate the pending hardships. How? Mystics cite conversion of all, that is, abandoning worldliness and shifting towards obedience to the Ten Commandments. This applies to all, including non-Catholics. But there are many other calls on top of conversion, including the plea for us to pray the Holy Rosary and to go to confession and receive the Eucharist. These certainly are within the domain of Catholicism. Thus, one who is Catholic and ignores these calls commit negligence. Ignore the opportunity to assuage for all mankind the trials now being revealed with more details to such mystics as Luz de Maria de Bonilla, Pedro Regis, Gisela Cardia, Jennifer, the visionaries of Medjugorje, etc. Yet the downpour of messages from heaven continues to indicate how much Catholics need to respond on behalf of all. This is seen in the message of our Blessed Mother to Pedro Regis on June 11, 2022, as follows. Quote, Dear children, do not live far away from prayer. When you are away, you become a target for the enemy of God. You are heading for a future of great contempt for sacred things. Great truths will be rejected, and the great babel will be present in God's house. Do not turn away from the truth. Repent sincerely of your sins and seek the mercy of my Jesus through the sacrament of confession. When you feel weak, seek strength in the Eucharist, and God's victory will occur for you. I know each one of you by name, and will pray to my Jesus for you. Courage. It is in this life and not another that you must testify that you belong to my son Jesus. Onward in defense of the truth. This is the message that I give you today in the name of the Most Holy Trinity. Thank you for having allowed me to gather you here once more. I bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be at peace. End quote. On June 9, 2022, the Blessed Mother also told Pedro, quote, Dear children, seek Jesus, for he alone is your all. In him is the true liberation and salvation for men. Embrace his light and defend his gospel and the teachings of the true magisterium of his church. Death will be present in the church but those who love and defend the truth will remain alive. I am your sorrowful mother, and I suffer because of what is coming for you. Prayer, confession, and Eucharist, these are the weapons for great spiritual combat. This is the message that I give you today in the name of the Most Holy Trinity. Thank you for having allowed me to gather you here once more. I bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be at peace. End quote. Meanwhile, our Lord Jesus Christ relayed to mystic Valeria Caponi last June 8th a message that I find somewhat mystifying. Some portions of it escape my understanding, specifically the mention of one not passing through earthly death. Here's the message which was purportedly said also on behalf of the Blessed Mother. Quote, 
my daughter, I ask this of you, but consequently through you of your brethren. Do you believe in my second coming among you on your planet Earth? I am the second person of the Trinity, and I can affirm with certitude that my second coming among you is drawing close. It will be soon, and so many of you will recognize me. Others, unfortunately, instead, will remain in their errors. Prepare, I tell you, to welcome me and my Most Holy Mother as we merit, that is, with all the love and desire of knowing your Most Beloved Jesus and Mary personally. Consider yourselves fortunate, because you will not pass through an earthly death. It will seem like a dream to you. Then, very slowly, your heart will ask for forgiveness for all the times it has taken part in the many sorrows caused us, Jesus and Mary, Mother of the Church. Wake up, my children. Pray and make others pray if you want to be considered true loving children. Begin from now on to speak to your unbelieving friends about our second coming. Tell them that they no longer have much time to pray and prepare themselves for our coming, which will be, yes, a consolation for all of you, but which will make you live through difficult moments before all the forgiveness that you must ask for your numerous sins and offenses caused to our most pure hearts. I bless you in waiting for you that this day come." End quote. By the way, more theologians agree that our Lord will have an intermediate coming. Some describe it as spiritual to the world before the physical second coming at the end of the world. Sometimes this intermediate coming is referred to as the second coming. At the same time, let me share with readers what mystic Valentina Papania, based in Australia, wrote on June 6, 2022. She said, quote, At the prayer group when we were reciting the sorrowful mysteries of the Holy Rosary, and we came to the fifth mystery, the crucifixion, our Lord Jesus lifted my spirit. I was raised high up above the people in our prayer group. Suddenly, I was lifted high above the earth and found myself in the universe. I remained on my knees because I was meditating on the passion of our Lord Jesus. Suddenly everything was open for me to see. Our Lord Jesus then said and showed me, Look at my holy cross, on which the Son of Man died for all humanity. Do you know this is the universal cross? I want you to go from east to west and from north to south, and round up all humanity to me. Leave them under my holy cross, and tell them to repent and to beg me for my mercy. It is my last plea to save all before you plunge into the deepest darkness with no return. My holy cross is universal and the most powerful Nothing is above my holy cross, and no matter what, there is no salvation without my holy cross. In an instant, I will forgive you and heal you when you ask me sincerely. Valentina, don't be afraid to speak out and to spread my holy word as far as you can to all. I want to save the world with my universal and powerful cross. I bless you all and be at peace. In a vision our Lord Jesus showed me, I was now somewhere in the universe with our Lord Jesus standing beside me. Above the earth, right in the center, stood the huge holy cross all aglow. It looked so beautiful and powerful standing on the horizon. It is universal and stands right in the center above the globe. Beams of golden light were shooting from the cross everywhere towards the earth. The earth looked so beautiful and so colorful. I could clearly see the oceans 
so huge, and the water the most brilliant blue. I could see parts of the earth covered in greenery. It all looked so alive. In awe of God's creation, I said, Oh, planet earth is so beautiful, and we should appreciate it and thank God for it. It is the universal cross on which our Lord died for all of us to redeem us all. He also sees that we on planet Earth live in terrible danger, with all kinds of ugly happenings coming towards us. He wants to save us all because He loves us very much." End quote.